training to where I needed to be coming home, when I, where I needed to come home every day. Right. You know, um, so this is what they had open and available in my area. Yeah, but that's still, you know, and it was initially. Uh-huh. I, I'm, I'm, I'm tripping on it. I'm, I'm, I'm tripping on how they presented that to you. Like, yeah, we got a, uh, we got home daily for you. And I bet, you know, you'd be like, yeah, okay, cool. I'm, I'm with that. So you're thinking about getting off at five o'clock or something like that. Maybe, maybe, maybe two o'clock, yeah. or, you know, and then they turn around and be like, nah, no, 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 no. You get off at midnight mm-hmm. and then you got to start at 12 noon the next day. Like, bro. So if I go home. Yeah. Let me get this straight. I go home, get about eight hours of sleep, get up at six o'clock. Mm-hmm. That means I got to do everything before. Yeah. That's, uh, uh-huh. that's uh. I know, I know, I know. Because so the time frame that they told me was available when I talked to driver placement, right. they said, well, we have one that said 10 p.m. They oh. said 10 p.m. to 10 a.m. I said, okay, yeah. I said, well, I can do that. I said, because then that way, you know, you'll have the whole day, time. right? Right, the whole day. And as you know, but when I start finally finished uh, training with my trainer, mm-hmm. and I went to uh, the Springfield terminal to uh, test out um, the sleep um, assignment person there, told me that that those time that time slot was no longer available. I uh, said, "Well, they told me they was going to hold it for uh, me. Oh, that's know, some... that they were giving me time to finish this, you know, finish this last week of training." That's some BS. So I'm sorry. I said, "I don't know." Yes, he said. I don't know where the confusion came in. The confusion, said, but that ten. Oh my god! What communication? She said, but that, I know that she said, but that ten p.m. to ten a.m. slot has been filled. She yeah. said, and according to what they're saying, she said that's been filled for 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 weeks now. I was like, that's crazy. You wow. Know, so she was like, well, if you still, if she did, she said, if you still want to do do that account, be home every day. She said, we do have another spot open. Mm-hmm. She said, it's from twelve p.m. or well, you're twelve p.m. noon noon to midnight. And it runs Sunday through Thursday. You don't have to. You don't. You won't be driving on Friday and Saturday, but you're driving Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. I'm like, oh, okay. You know. You, you, like, you know what? Right. You you know what? I I think that was. I hate to say this. I, I the 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 recruiter the the in the recruiter. I, I'm gonna have to admit, the recruiter knew that. She she just said that the just drive replacement right. I I think she just said that just to get you just to get you set to agree to that noon the the noon the midnight one. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I I think you know because if she would have said that in the beginning, I don't think you would have been like, no, nah, I don't think I want that. Oh, but we we got to right. We, and, and I did you know right. We, and I did tell driver place with that before mm-hmm. when I was in Texas because they had sent me to Texas to train with the leader down here. And like I said, I was still on there at Kimberly or Clark because I had said I was going to do the, do the Kimberly or Clark uh, account. It was a regional account with them, with Kimberly or Clark, Clark, where I'm out five days home to well, home for every, the 34 weeks that, you know. And, but when I was in Texas, um, I ended up changing it because I'm like, no, I think I need to be home, coming home every be able to come home every day because of my mother's situation. But not only my mom's situation, but because I have some things I need to, you know, handle and take care of. And if I'm out on the road, I'm not going to be able to, you know, give those things my focus, my attention right now. So that's when I called them and told them, you know, this is the situation. I need to come up off the, um, I'm not going to be able to do the uh, regional account with Kimberly Clark. I need something that's home daily. And the uh, driver placement person that I spoke to, Back in October, she did present me with those two time hours from the 10 p.m. to 10 a.m. and from the 12 noon to 12 noon to 12 midnight. And I told her, I said, well, no, I said, no, I don't want the 12 noon to 12 midnight. I said, I prefer the 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. because if my mom has an appointment or if I have a doctor's appointment through the day, you know, I can go. You know, and then, you know, go once I get back to the yard and, you know, as I'm done, I can go home, get my rest and get back on the road at night. You know, I told her I don't mind doing, I don't mind driving at night. You know, I don't have a problem or issue with it, you know. Um, so she said, okay, well, let me call and let me confirm. And this was back in October. And um, she called, she said, well, yeah, she's like, that is still available. She still wanted to make sure. She said, that is still available. She said, so they, they said that they're willing to hold that time slot for you until you finish training. I said, okay, good. Got finished with training, went back to the Springfield Terminal in Ohio to test out. 
And when I sat down with the fleet, um, the fleet assignment lady who assigns the trucks and stuff, she came back and told me, well, you know, such and such, your truck is already the truck. Because you're because of the account that you're on, you know, we're not going to assign you a truck here. Your truck assignment is already up in Brownstown. She said, this is your truck number. And she said, well, these are your out. This is your start time. And you're, I said, no. I told her, I said, I didn't, I didn't say, I didn't say I was going to do the 12 to 12 noon to 12 midnight. She said, well, that's what they, you know, she said, well, that's what they said that that was the only thing that's available right now. I said, well, that's not what I agreed to back in October. You know, um, so she was like, okay, well, let me go. She went back in there. She made some phone calls and she came back and she said, she said, look, she was a black lady. She said, I don't know where the F up made, what happened at. She said, but that 10 o'clock, that 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. is no longer available. She said, this is the only time slot that they have left on that account, on the net apps account, because it's only, uh, six positions for six drivers, you know, and uh, we share a truck, meaning, I have a co-driver that drives, like, once I get this truck back to the yard, then he goes out for his shift, you know. So she said they only have three trucks on that account. They got six drivers who share trucks. That 10 p.m. to 10 a.m. was already taken. They said, she said, they, they said it was taken months, uh, uh, months ago. I was like, that couldn't have been months ago. I said, because I, when I talked to uh, driver re- driver placement in October, they were saying it was still open and available. Yep. So I ended up on this 12 noon to 12 p.m. So I said, well, you know what? I'm just going to rock with it for a while. And then I'm going to look at some options once I get, you know, that's once how I you, get some experience. That's some experience. how you do it. Mm-hmm. That's how you do it. Yep. That's how you do it. Because I, I, I feel that they they bamboozled you. They hoodwinked you. I feel like they did too. <laughs> let it, let it, like let it stray. Too. Let it stray. Yeah. They did. They they led they yeah. they led you to a they led you to the promised land that wasn't even promised to us. I that's how I felt. <laughs> I felt like that. Like I'm like I was like unbelievable. I'm like, are you serious? I'm like, man. I'm like, ooh, because that the, those days of driving at 10, 8, 10 p.m. to ten a.m. was Tuesday through Saturday, so I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have had to drive on Sunday and Monday. But then this one, like I said, I drive Sunday to Thursday, so I don't drive on Friday and Saturday. Not unless I want to make up some, you know, extra hours and, you know, uh, time and get some extra money. But I'm like, nah. Now I this, do my Sunday through Thursday. Now, this position right here, is this a, is this a set amount, uh, like a guaranteed amount, or are you still – how how's the pay broke down? Uh-uh, no. This is, this is paid by the miles as well. It's not an hourly – it's paid by the miles. So basically, we're running loads from uh, Brownstown, Michigan to Indianapolis, uh, Indiana, of course. And it's from one drop one uh, drop yard to the next drop yard. So basically, we're paid by the miles in between the, the going there and the coming back. And then also, we, we, we take some trailers to um, some of the customers. Like, we'll go made, like I said, it could be a chance that once I get here in Indianapolis and I'm waiting for my next uh, load assignment to come out over, the trailer that they may give me, I may have to run it to Fort Wayne off to a customer there, uh, General Mills, and drop it and, and probably carry back an empty. Or the same with like going to Coldwater, Michigan to uh, Walmart to drop off a, a, a loaded trailer there or empty trailer and pick up a loaded trailer. It's, you know, So we do little spots in Michigan. Not not all the time, but most the majority of my drive is back and forth from Brownstown to Indianapolis, Indianapolis back to Brownstown. Now the truck that you're driving, slip seating or your your your, your it's your truck that you can take home. No, it's it's a slip seating. It stays in the yard at, at the terminal in Brownstown. Oh, okay. You just drive home. Yep. Right, uh, which I'm like six minutes from their terminal in Brownstown anyway. I live six minutes away. Yeah. And then I can say it's a shared truck because it, I have a co-driver that comes on shift to start his shift at midnight. You know, he drives his, his time is midnight to 12 noon. And, and it just all depends on weather and traffic, you know, on getting here. Of course, you know, that's probably like, what, four hours, 30 minutes there, four hours, 30 minutes from the back. You know. Okay, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. I, I, yeah, st- so. I, I still feel that they bamboozled you, though. You've been hoodwinked. Bamboozled. Let us stray. Run them up. 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 Run
But you know, it's I it is too, you know it is I do. it is what it is, and you taking this as a learning experience. So uh, yeah, I, I am. I, I, I'm I, there. I, I definitely hope everything work out. Mm-hmm. And it will. Like I said, learning experience every day is a teachable moment for me, and I am learning every single day. That's what's you know, up. That's what's up. And that's trying, what like I'm, I said. Practice, make sure my back. Trying to practice on my backing, even if I have to ask for help or help help is offered, I take it. <laughs> that's what's up, <laughs> man. My goal is always to make sure that I'm not tearing up nobody's equipment. Not. <laughs> that's I what's cannot up. afford to pay for it. That's what's <laughs> up, man. That's what's up. Well, Trini, Tri- I, I keep pronouncing it. Trini? Trinity. Yes. Yeah, 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 tr- tr- Trini. Yeah. Trini. Well, as always, yeah, thanks for reaching fine. out. Uh-huh. Thanks for reaching no, out no to problem. me. No problem. Quick, con- quick conversation. That's what I like. <laughs> yeah. I said, I, yeah, I was like, I still have this number. I had saw your, like I said, the thing on TikTok, and I was like, that's what I be thinking too when I'm at the yard, when I'm dropping the trailer at um, the Indy yard because there's other drivers there that come in and and I'm like they probably like oh here she go again, she's pulling up, backing up, pulling up, back. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, look, hey, until I get it, make sure I can get into that hole right without hitting that trailer over here and that trailer over there. It's gonna be some pull ups and some backups, you know. <laughs> That's what's up. And we- I be saying the same thing. They- we, I'd be like they probably over there on them on their CBs. Thomas, you see her, you see her. <laughs> yeah, we wasn't we we wasn't born with the with diesel in our arms, like some people say. Like I was born yeah, with diesel yeah. in my arms, but but in the, <laughs> but in the case of but in the case of that video, though, you know, like I said, we're you know we're we're not we're we're not mad at you because you don't want the help. You know, we're not mad at you. Like I said, if you don't right. want if you don't want the help, and you just you know, you at Norris, so turn the nose up. All we're going to do is turn into the camera culture. That's all. That's all mm-hmm. we're going to do. So. Yeah. Yeah. Because I just last week, I had a guy who, who um, he got out of his truck. He had backed his trailer in. Mm-hmm. No, he had already dropped his trailer this back down in Indy. He had already dropped his trailer, and he had already coupled to the trailer that he was going to pull. So he had got out of his truck. And um, because I didn't get out to ask him for help, but he got out because I guess, you know, he saw that there was a need and he got out and um, he came over to me and he was like, "Okay, I'm a I'm a uh," he said, you need to go more to your left, you know, than your right. And he said, I'm a I'm a I'm a stand back here and you just watch me. You know, I was like, oh, okay," And I didn't have a problem with that. I go, "Okay," because I told him I appreciate it, you know, and. He got a little confused. He he, because he told me he uh, he got a little confused, and we kind of he kind of messed me up, you know. But I didn't complain about it, mm-hmm. you know. I just told him, you know, he was like, and he said, he admitted, he said, you know what? I think I done confused myself. I done confused you because I confused myself. He said, because it's yes, if I'm in the in the driver's seat, it's easy for me to do. But yeah. he said sometimes people can't can't explain it. They you know that way that it needs to be explained. And he was like, and I'm sorry, my bad. I was like, that's okay. I was like, hey. I appreciate the help. I said, now, how are we going to fix this? That's how I was like, how are we going to fix this? You got to help me. I mean, you know, how, we got to get this fixed because I got to get this trailer in the hole because, you know, I'm struggling right now. And it was dark. It was night. The visibility down here at night is not great because they don't have enough lighting. And it's like, that's when my struggle come in when I get down here in this yard and it's dark. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, here we go. Let me, let me get out and look, get out and look, pull up, you know, back up, pull up, back up. So. Well, that's what's up, Trini. Well, thank you. I appreciate the conversation. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, no problem. Shit, whenever you need, whenever you need to talk to me or trip out with me or with anything like that, shit, feel free to call me. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I Mick, will. I've been Mick. keeping a little log journal of yeah. my experiences out here because I done had the fifth, the king pin jump the fifth wheel. I done, I done had a trailer fall. I'm like, what the heck am I doing out here? Lord Jesus, help me. Michigan. Everybody is always everybody is always willing to help. That's what's up. That's what's up. Well, the people I encounter, I'm just gonna say the people I encounter are willing to help. Well, that's what's up. You know, there's some good guys out here, so all right, Trini. I've had some that's been like, you know, I'm busy. I'm like, okay, no problem. You know, I'm not, you know. Yeah, bye. But I don't get I don't get I don't get twisted about it. Right, yeah. 
Yeah, I don't all... get upset about it. Like, okay. Uh, okay, bye. Thank I you. I know we're all on the clock. Hey, we're all on the clock. We got our hours of service. We got to speak, you know. The That's what's up. And, and, uh, yep, those like, I understand. <laughs> All right, little lady. I'll talk to you later. You take it easy. Stay safe, man. All right, you too. Drive safe. I will. I will. And don't forget about me. No, I won't. All right. Bye. <laughs>